What up everyone, welcome to BMG, it's your boy Brown Mamba, hope you guys are doing good. So in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some 2K15 gameplay. I thought because, you know, the finals are on TV now, Cavs versus Golden State, it made sense to kind of play some 2K15 and put some 2K15 gameplay up. I also like doing the top 5, so I thought I'd do another top 5, but have it playoff related. So in this, in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 total scoring leaders um, in the playoffs of all time so yeah and in the background you're gonna see me playing uh, Toronto versus Toronto versus Chicago Bulls I think it's a conference finals um, it's two gameplays I'm gonna show you guys um, I lost both and I basically got killed in both of them I lose by over I think like 15 points on average on both games I just couldn't find a way to score in, in Chicago at least and like the first game, I think I scored less than 20 points. Second game, I did a lot better, but I still lost. I think I scored like 30 something points. You guys see it in the gameplay. I wasn't, I didn't want to put this up because I lost both games, but I, I was like, you know what, whatever it is, where it is, I lost two games. I'm down zero and two. So the next, the next two games are gonna be in Toronto. I'm hopefully I win those two. I need to win those two because I don't want to go down, you know, th 0 and three or anything like that. So it, then, then I know I basically lost. But I'm hoping for a comeback. Um, we'll see what happens, and just stay tuned. And I'll hopefully I show you guys those those winning winning games next. But yeah, so getting back to the top five. Um, yeah, because the playoffs are on, I, I do want to you know show you guys who the top scorers of all time are. Um, not points per game, but total points. We'll start off with number five. It is Mr. Fundamental Tim Duncan. He scored a total of 5,113 points. He played in 241 playoff games. This is and this is up to date. So this is from his playoff runs even this year. Um, he's averaging about 21 points per game, which is pretty good. Um, Tim Duncan is it, it, he is one of the best players of all time. He's probably the best power forward in my opinion. Um, he hit he has also hit five threes in, in those playoff games he's played out of the 241. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know what else to say about Tim Duncan. He, everyone knows him. He's he's a little boring to watch, but you know what? A win is a win, and he does whatever it takes to win. He's won uh, four or five championships now, so yeah, I know he, he's just a winner. Once again, he's uh, he's number five at 5,113 points. Coming at number four, it's a big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. He scored 5,250 5, points and he did it in 216 games, which comes out to about 24.3 points per game. Um, yeah, he didn't hit any threes like Tim Duncan. So, yeah, Shaq, I'm not surprised he's number four. He is, he was an unstoppable. He, he was a tank. No one, no one could stop him in, in the post. And he did put up a lot of numbers. I'm surprised his average is kind of low for the playoffs. I thought it was a little bit higher. Uh, but yeah, 24 points is pretty good. So yeah, so he's at number four at 5,250. Um, I, I thought I'd throw in something else here too. So Tim Duncan only played for San Antonio. Shaq on the other hand, he other hand he's played for um, Orlando Magic, the Lakers, obviously Miami Heat, Phoenix Suns, the Cavs, and Boston. So he's, he's played a lot in the last last little bit of his career. At number three, it's my man. The Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant, he scored 5,640 points. He did it in 220 games, and he averaged 25.6 games doing it. He's also hit 292 threes. It kind of sucks because it should be a couple more games and then a couple more points. But the last few years, because of his injuries, he hasn't you know, played in the playoffs as much as he should or at all. In my opinion, Kobe Bryant's the second best player to ever play the game. I've made a video about this before too, but honestly, Kobe Bryant is sick in, in so many different ways. He's amazing in so many different ways. Him scoring 5,600 over 5,600 points in the playoffs in 220 games, I think, is incredible. Especially, you know, considering the fact that you know the first three championships he won, or yeah, the first three championships he won, he did have Shaq, so obviously he did have to share that scoring load with with Shaq and he still managed to put up that kind of numbers. I think that's an achievement on his own. And then, you know, coming forward when he was with Paul Gasol, he did carry that team so points wise. So I guess that's when he really caught up. But yeah, once again, he's only played for the Lakers. He's in third place with 5,640 points in total in 220 um, career playoff games. At number two, it's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. 
he's coming at uh, 5,762 points in 237 games, which comes to about 24 points a game. He hit no threes, obviously. Yeah, he had the hook shot, so yeah, he had zero threes, but he did put up about 24 points a game, which is pretty incredible in 237 playoff games. He's played about 17 more playoff games, so I'm hoping... Hoping, I'm hoping Lakers make the playoffs next year and Kobe moves into second place. He's about, uh, I think about 100 points short. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, 122 points short. So, you know, Kobe's still active and I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to make the playoffs next year and hopefully he catches up to Kareem and moves into second place. But yeah, no, Kareem is amazing. Everyone knows he's a center. He's he's done amazing. He's, he's won championships. He, he played for the Lakers. He's also played for the Bucks, but the majority was with Lakers. Um, yeah, he's at number two at 5,762 points. Coming at number one, it's the best player to ever play the game, and that's Michael Jordan. He scored 5,987 points. He did it in 179 playoff games, averaging 33.4 points per game, which is insane. I wish he scored 13 more points so he could have that 6,000 total points scored in the playoffs. But he fell a little short. It doesn't matter. He still averaged 33.4 points per game, which is insane. Like, the reason Michael Jordan is considered the best, in one of my opinions, is that he steps up when it counts. Just like how I talk about Kobe stepping up in the fourth quarter or in the playoffs, Michael Jordan is on the next level. Like, his points goes up, his rebounds goes up, his assists goes up, his steals goes up when it comes to the playoffs. Like, in the finals, Jordan has gone there six times, and he's won all six times. Even Kobe, my favorite player of all time, he's lost twice. Um, LeBron James, he's 2 for 4 and now most likely he's going to be 2 for 5 after he gets raped by Golden State. Um, but yeah, going back to Michael Jordan, like his numbers are insane. Like Scoring almost 6,000 points in the playoffs with only 179 games, that's crazy. He hit 148 three-pointers. It's not the most, but he wasn't really a three-point shooter. At the end of his career, he did add that to his game, which made him even that much more deadly. Um, but yeah, no, so he is number one at 5,987 points per game. So I'll do a little recap here. Um, at number five, it was Tim Duncan, who scored 5,113 points. At number four, it was Shaq, who scored 5,250 points. At number three, Kobe Bryant with 5,640 points. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Abdul he scored 5,762 points. And at number one, it's Michael Jordan scoring 5,987 points. These top five guys are amazing. They've all won multiple championships. The best players, to, some of the best players to play the game. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was my top five of total points scored in the playoffs. Please like and subscribe all my videos. Subscribe to my channel. It, it'll just, you know, help me a lot. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.